to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, I Yo. saw a uh, story the other day Ooh. that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, my God. Maybe maybe the first pair of breasts I've ever seen in a movie. Really? Yes. Yeah, you watch that scene on repeat? Uh n- no, this was before like that kind of stuff existed. I think we had cable. Burn out that spot on the VHS tape because you rewound it so much. <laughs> like, why is this part fuzzy right before the boobs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> trading uh, places. If you're looking for the movie, by is the it way, trading places. It is in oh. trading places. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> I saw. I don't. I don't even know where this came from. It popped up on Reddit. Jamie Lee Curtis leading the charge for earlier concerts. Quote. I want to hear Coldplay at 1 p.m. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> in all the comments, everyone's like, who the fuck wants to go to a concert at 1 p.m.? I'm working. <laughs> like, no one, they're like, everyone everyone under 60 is working, of course. They, if, but then in the comments, I was like, they were like, yeah, if they want to, if they're, if their audience is older people and they want to do that, facts. have have a show at 1 p.m. and then have another show at 7. And then all the old people come during the day and you have anyone who shows up at night shows up at night. Honestly, not a not a terrible idea if you, as a musician, you don't mind doing like the two-a-day thing. I know that can be kind of difficult. Oh, I bet. Yeah, because uh, they're probably drunk after the first one. They got to puke and rally for the second one. <laughs> I mean, that means that the second one's going to be better. Because <laughs> definitely drunk shows are better. Um, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is like what? She's like a thousand. Yeah, and she like she's, she's somewhere up there. She's like nine ninety. Yeah, so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so you know, happy thousandth birthday. <laughs> um, happy, happy Crip Keeper to you. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not. It just kind of feels like an old man screams at cloud kind of thing. Yeah, that's I what I, that's what I thought when I read it. I was like, old ladies, like I want earlier concerts for Coldplay. I'm like, lady, wow. Like, what do you want Creed to open up for him? Oh, arms wide open. Got it. That's a thousand years ago. Uh, yeah, you know dude. Uh, but I was like, I've seen concerts during the day. Like when you go to like a festival, they start at like noon, and if you go early, you see. I don't. Have you ever been to a festival? No, um, they're not as great as they're cracked up to be. It's like a lot of walking and standing around. But anyways, I mean, but like they, they have fun. like different stages and stuff, right? Yeah, and then you walk around, you check out a bunch of different bands, you get to see mm-hmm. a ton of music. But I will tell you, the shows that are on at like three in the afternoon, not nearly as impactful at night when like all the lights and shit are going. Like you know, it's yeah, like yeah, 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 it's yeah. you go see Major Lazer with strobe lights and all sorts of shit, and it's dark, and you're like, you don't even like Major Lazer. You're like, oh yeah, this shit is this is good. You like you see a band you love at like three, and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's just like old people on the stage with a guitar. Like <laughs> I just don't know if my ears would like be able to. I don't know if my ears have enough attention to sit there and listen to different music all day long. It's exhausting, dude. It, and it's, not to mention that, like, if you go to, like, ACL here, it's in a giant metro park. So it's, like, it takes you minutes of walking to get to, like, the other side of the thing. So, like, and there's no shade anywhere. Mm. It's, like, in a big open area. Anywhere there is shade, there's a billion people trying to get in the shade because it's hot. And you're just – and then you're standing in a giant crowd, 38,000 people back from the stage being like, oh, I think that's Billie Eilish up there. And, like, you're watching it on a screen. Like – Yeah, yeah. It is cool because you get to go and see people that you would never see in concert. Like I did while yeah. I was at ACL, I saw Billie Eilish. I would never ever go to a Billie Eilish concert, but I was like, "Oh, she's performing. I'll stop and watch a song or two, and then I walked on to something else." Like, yeah, because I'm not trying to like right. listen, listen to Billie. Yeah, Eilish. exactly. I was just like, "Oh, that's cool." Like I got to see Eminem at ACL because I'd never seen him, and he doesn't tour anymore. I was like, "Oh, that's cool. I got to see Eminem." Like okay. you know stuff like that. Fair, but. It, but like by the time those last bands come on, they're usually two people that you that are really famous playing at the same time. So the crowd is basically split in half on one side of the venue and the other. Yeah. But like you're talking, if you want to get to the front of the stage, you're talking there's twenty thousand people deep that you're trying to navigate through, and then the concert ends and you all leave at the same time. And then like as you get closer to the front, there's definitely gonna be people who are less likely to move aside. Oh, and there's to... people on blankets, there's people in chairs, there's I mean it's just it's you're in a big ass part. Like, it is the most convoluted shit to try to navigate. And you just get stuck because no one's yeah. moving. You can't do anything. It I'm not, not really into all that touching, like, you know. Yeah, like 
I'm not. I wasn't into all that touching pre-COVID. Now, like trying to go and get in a crowd of forty thousand, like a mosh pit, that doesn't sound good to yeah, me right so, now. Something. I just get a certain degree of anxiety whenever I see like those videos of like a bunch of uh, Asian people being like stuffed into a train. Crowd crush. Yeah. 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go through that at a concert and listen to music. It just doesn't sound like a. But I do. I one hundred percent do want to do South by Southwest or ACL. It's like I've been in Texas for a while now. Yeah, I, I feel like I should go and well, just like South see, by Southwest. See is, what it's it's like citywide, so it's not all at one thing. It's just it actually starts tonight. Like Does it's it? It, like it. Well, not the music, but the music starts next week. But it's just at every venue all over town. So if you, if we went downtown tonight, there would be tons of shit going on. Because really? it's South by, so it's the first night. There'll probably be shit set up in the street. Streets will be blocked off. Oh, snap. My mom's coming out next week. Week after next. Oh, week. Yeah, because it was the week I'm going to be out of town. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah It'll yeah. still be going on, though. No. Right? It's on, it, go, it starts today. Ne- it ends next Sunday. Okay. All so, right. Fair enough. So, uh, but anyways, it, it's cool. But ACL is a festival at the, the, the park, and everyone's in one space. It's on one, three days, right? <laughs> Um, but Food South trucks. by it's like, it's just busy traffic, busy, whatever, because it's, there's a lot of people. So, yeah. So it's a little bit different than yeah that, but it's like, I did that shit when I was younger. It was fun. Not South by like, like and the only reason I haven't done South by is because the badges are super ridiculously expensive to get into all these venues. And then you still aren't even guaranteed to get in. Cause they're, they, they, once they hit capacity, you have to wait in line. So it's like, you could go and then you have to stand in line for an hour waiting for people to leave so you can get in. Uh. What, what I used to do when I was married is we would, we would take like a weekday off, like say like a Wednesday of South by week. Mm-hmm. We'd go downtown at like noon. Because there's a during the day, tons of free shit. We would drink for free all day. There's there's music every day, all day at pretty much any bar in the entire city. Really? And it's all like we walked into a bar one day and like Head PE was playing at like three o'clock for free at this random bar. I mean, granted they aren't famous, but they mean, but they were more famous than yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and like we just hung out in this metal bar and watched these four or five different bands play, watch Head PE and like whatever. You and you, there's always music. So it's, so we would go down at like noon. Drink for free. There be no cover. We get wasted, and then by the time eight eight p.m. hit, and the the the, the bad stuff happens, and I'm like, you're wasted. And you just go home. Like it's like <laughs> you, you go, this day drink. Yeah, you go day drink, but you still get to like. We went to this one thing. Somebody was like, it was walking down the street. They're like, here, take this lane. You go to this venue. And we we're like, okay. And we walked in. We went to the bar. We were like, can we get two beers, whatever? And the, the guy sets them on the counter. It's like, okay, so walks away. I go, I go, hey, how much do we owe you? He goes, it's open. It's like, we open. sat there listening to shitty ass music for like three hours just drinking free beer. How, how do they make money on that? Is it like, it's how? all, I mean, it's just promotion. Like, I like, guess. So, so it's just a lost loser, huh? Yeah, they, yeah, it's just, yeah, some, not everywhere has free beer, but some places do. You got to just find it, right? It, I mean, yeah. That's... I mean, I'll drink crappy beer for free. Yeah, honestly, I gotta gotta look out for that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna start going to every bar and asking, "What's your free lager?" <laughs> Just go to go to egos and be like, "What's your free drink tonight?" Uh, She's like, "Water." <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me about egos. Can I get I some water go. with some spit in it, please? Dude, I want to go to ego so bad. Uh, yeah, that's so. It does sound like something I w- I would I would want to do at least for the experience. Um, I haven't been to as many concerts as you. This this whole topic has been kind of like just you telling me about because I've been. Yeah, yeah, I went. I went to like a couple like local band concerts I've been to. Yeah, but I've I think told the them, most of your adult concerts you went with me, right? Because I think we went to two. Yeah, I mean, and you only went to one or two other ones. And before. those were still like small bands. I guess like the biggest concert for like the biggest artist I've ever been to is I saw Outkast. Was it like a stadium? It was in, uh, what's the stadium that's kind of Nautilus shell shaped in Cleveland? Outdoor? It's in, yeah, it's an outdoor Nautica. one. The Nautica. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I saw yeah. him at that's the Nautica. Good, that's, well, it used to not have all that, the seats and the, did it have a roof and every, like a, like a faux roof? Like a tub? Yeah, 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 yeah. It used to not have that, but I went there and it has it now, so it's a lot better. Um, but I did. I went and saw Outcast. uh, I can't remember who opened for him, but I think it was like City High or something. Yeah, I, I have. I've went to a billion concerts. Like, I used to go to concerts all the time. So, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Yeah, thank you. Well,